Yo, what is going on YouTube? I am Germ here. Today we are talking about some insane TSM news coming out today and this was news that I was really not expecting to hear at all um, I guess it's more of a story or a rumor or whatever I'm not really sure and I know we hey it's YouTube it's social media it's content creation we clickbait all the time like oh insane crazy whatever like this is actually insane this is actually crazy but there's also a little bit of an I told you so moment as well because if you guys watch a lot of my videos or most of my videos or all my videos or whatever one thank you so much i appreciate you guys i don't expect anyone to do that we put out so much content but i made a video a while ago where i said hey don't be surprised if five years from now tsm is not in the lcs i really think that over the past year or so tsm reggie a lot of people at the org have made it very very clear that they are down on the lcs down on the future of the lcs and would probably jump ship if given the opportunity. Now, my kind of hypothesis was that TSM may end up in the LPL one day uh, in the next five years, and I could definitely see them, you know, trying to jump ship because LCS viewership is dropping, players are too expensive, uh, we have no chance of international success, you know, yada, yada, yada. Um, but I did throw the idea out there that, hey, TSM and the LCS, yes, they have an iconic history together and they've meant so much to each other, but nothing lasts forever. You know, the, the TSM LCS marriage, it's one that could split up. It, you know, it could end sour. It could end in divorce or, or whatever. And I wanted to throw that idea out there. I know some people thought it was interesting. Some people thought I was stupid and idiot, whatever. But when I was on Twitter, uh, this was something I definitely did not expect to see. Uh, and that was this from Richard Lewis, uh, Richard Lewis reports our loose reports, whatever he tweeted out latest for Dixerto. Sources say TSM recently considered selling their LCS slot among plans to streamline their esports division. Now, this is crazy. And like I said, hey, I, I hyped it up for you guys. I told you this isn't clickbait. This is actually insane TSM news. This is insane TSM news. And the funny part is, uh, I didn't really even see this on Twitter. The reason that this is a screenshot is I'm blocked by Richard Lewis. I'm not exactly sure why I'm blocked by Richard Lewis. Um, be, but I do know that there's a couple of different options. Uh, one, he could just not like me for a million different reasons. You know, a lot of like the old guard, older people in the scene, whatever, they don't like me for X, Y, Z. I don't know. The other option is I may have liked a, a tweet or a joke or something about him at one point. And a lot of these guys, they have like the Twitter nuke thing where anyone that likes a certain tweet just gets blocked by you. Uh, and the third option is that I said something about him at some point. And that's why he blocked me. But I really don't think that happened because I'm really not all that familiar with this guy. I don't remember remember ever like interacting with him or anything like that. But kind of strange. I don't know. I'm blocked by him and Thorin, two guys that I've never interacted with before ever, to, to my knowledge at least. Um, but yeah, so I didn't actually see this tweet. That's why I had to screenshot it and tweet it. I couldn't like quote tweet it or anything like that. But this is obviously very, very spicy. This is huge. I can't see how many numbers it's doing on Twitter or anything like that, but apparently uh, TSM considered selling their LCS spot. But uh, let's get into this article and see what the heck is going on. Um, I don't know why this article looks so terrible on my PC, but like, you see like the left side's cut off. The right side is a huge white, like, white rectangle. The left side is all cut off. I don't know if it's because ad block. I don't know if it's optimized for mobile or if it's something to do with my browser. Like, I don't know. I'm on Chrome and this looks terrible on my computer. Um, I can't imagine this is what it looks like for everybody. Dixerto is like a big website, but yeah, whatever. I don't know. Here it is from Richard Lewis. TSM recently considered selling their LCS slot. Um, and here's the article. North American League of Legends powerhouse TSM recently explored the potential of selling their franchise slot in the LCS League. Uh, according to sources familiar with TSM's business dealings, the discussions were driven by a number of factors that included reducing costs of TSM's esports projects, the level of competition in the North American region, and the decline of popularity in North American League of Legends as a whole. And again, those are all the things that I've been telling you guys about. That's nothing shocking there. Else, in North America and in the LCS, you have like the highest um, player salaries of like any region. I know China throws out some crazy numbers as well, but like we have higher player salaries than the LCK. We have higher player salaries to the, to the LEC than the LEC, at least to my knowledge. Um, obviously the decline in popularity, we, we see the LCS viewership. It's not going up. It's, you know, it's not doing super good, especially compared to some of these other leagues. Um, and like I said, the level of competition, Hey, the LCS, they're the the weakest major region. We haven't been performing. We haven't been sending teams, you know, deep in international tournaments and stuff. And if TSM wants, Cheaper players, cheaper staff, 
better chance to win internationally uh, and higher viewership numbers, you know, just overall bigger numbers. Hey, the LPL, LEC, LCK, whatever, maybe these things are options. And TSM is a big enough brand, a big enough fan base, and has enough money to maybe make some of this stuff happen. Like, yeah, TSM and the LPL, that sounds insane, but... I mean, if you're the LPL, you already have like 15 or 17 teams or whatever. You're telling me you wouldn't take TSM as well? Yeah, TSM, they wouldn't be the worst org uh, in the LPL. They wouldn't be the least popular org in the LPL. They would make you money. They would get your eyeballs. Like, yes, these other orgs would probably like to have TSM in them, um, you know, even though maybe their time is kind of souring in the LCS. Um, here is a big bomb. The discussions were also largely driven by the possibility of acquiring the recently sold Misfits Franchise slot in Riot's European LEC League. A source familiar with that deal stated that TSM made some preliminary inquiries about how much it would cost before Heretics completed the deal for a reported $45 to $50 million fee. So, was TSM asking because they were actually looking to buy? Was TSM asking and they heard it was too much? Was TSM asking and then maybe thinking about it and somebody came up and swooped in on it? Does this mean that TSM is maybe going to talk with Astralis or SK or one of these other LEC teams about potentially trying to get into the LEC and potentially selling their LCS slot? Um, does this mean that TSM is, is not maybe in talks with somebody else? Like I said, like the LPL, like an LPL team. Uh, I don't know. You know, this isn't TSM getting out of League of Legends, and I don't think TSM has any intention of getting out of League of Legends. It's the S++ tier eSport. E if you're in anything, you're in League of Legends. That's how they get their sponsors. It's how they get their FTX money. It's how they get whatever. It's not from Chess or Apex or Fortnite or, or even Valorant at this point. It, you know, League of Legends is the creme de la creme, absolutely. Maybe it won't always be, but at least for now. Um, a second source who spoke to DeCerto on the condition of anonymity wanted to make it clear that TSM were not necessarily planning to exit from League of Legends, but merely that it made financial sense for TSM to look into the possibility of entering the LEC if possible. TSM made multiple headlines for their expensive foreign, foreign acquisitions, like Sword Art, um, you know, how much money did they spend on Kaiduo and Shenny this year, uh, lots of crazy stuff. Um, it's it's also been widely accepted that LCS viewership has been in free fall while the LEC is doing pretty well. However, there could be more than meets the eye to this. One of the sources that confirmed the discussions also added, there was a feeling amongst TSM executives that the esports program needed to be streamlined amidst spiraling costs. TSM are currently cutting budgets everywhere. They will likely sell other parts of their esports division in the near future. Not sure exactly what that means, but be looking out. Big changes could be coming to TSM. This was tempered by a third source who also spoke anonymously, who stated that while these discussions had indeed taken place, they were just part of a number of ideas that the organization was exploring in a bid to stay at the top of their field, but no formal moves have been made in that direction. So, you know, they're saying, hey, maybe TSM wasn't really looking to leave the LCS. Maybe they weren't really looking to go to the LEC. Maybe they're just doing their due diligence, putting some feelers out. But still, I think it's very, very interesting either way. Hey, Take everything you hear with a grain of salt. None of this is 100% confirmed, absolutely happened, anything like that. But these are stories. These are rumors. These are things that are happening behind the scenes. And like I said before, and I'll say again, TSM and the LCS have meant so much to each other. An iconic pairing, an iconic duo. But a lot has changed over the past 10 years, over the past 5 years, even over the past 1 year. And TSM and the LCS, just because things have been good or, or maybe even are decent right now, doesn't mean they always have to be that way. TSM, maybe in the LEC, TSM, maybe in the LPL. And that also opens the door to other craziness happening. Like, yeah, if TSM leaves the LCS, then anything could happen. I know I've talked about G2 maybe coming to the LCS before, maybe leaving the LEC. You know, like all these things are on the table. And just know that people are always having these conversations. I actually think it's good that TSM is having these conversations. I think if you are a business and you are not, at least testing the water on all your different options. You, you know, you're not doing the right thing. You have to keep all your options open. You have to reevaluate all the time. You got to stay at the top of the field. If TSM wants to be the premier esports organization in the world, then they, they got to make some tough decisions or at least look into potential tough decisions to make. So this is really crazy. I don't know. I was not expecting to see this today. I think this is insane. I think this is going to shock people. I think people are going to be very surprised. I think Deserto knows that this is big news. This is a big article. Uh, and yeah, pretty crazy. Sources say TSM recently considered selling their LCS slot among plans to streamline their esports division. Obviously, the esports winter is probably upon us. We see cuts all over the place. We see teams selling out. We see craziness. Money is tight. Esports orgs are losing money. It's not a good time to be a losing, uh, like an unprofitable business. So who knows? But that's pretty much it for this video today, guys. Somebody drop a like if you did enjoy it. I would appreciate that so, so much. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about anything we talked about in this video today. Subscribe, stay up to date on all my latest content. Uh, consider checking out the Discord. First link in the description below. Hopefully catch you guys in the next one.
But until then, peace.